Oh, Luigi, my dear brother o' mine. Where are you at, my dude? E God's almighty, where the heck and heck you be? So I always check in on this business. Eh, all right. Nine out of 50 recipes. Uh, okay, Chuck Quizmo quizzes five out of five. Five, out, I've gotten five correct of the five I've seen. There aren't only five quizzes. I didn't burn through them that fast. What was that about, my dude? Hi, Mario. You doing okay? Don't worry, bro. I'll watch the house until you get back. Okay. The heck are you doing in here, my dude? You reading my mail? Is that something you're doing? Goombaria! In this economy? To Mario. Are you and Goombaria doing okay? I'm fine. Oh, this is Goombaria, by the way. I mean, I did include a pretty awesome picture, so I don't know how you wouldn't know that. Are you having an exciting adventure? Is Goombario being a hero, or is he just goofing off? I mean, he is being a hero. He's done a lot of good. Learned that he's, like, super into girls. I mean, that's, you know, I get it. I get it, but I didn't expect that from him. You know, I sometimes go shopping in Toad Town with Mom. Maybe we'll see you there. I'd really like to hear some of your exciting stories. I can't wait, really. You can go beat up Bowser. I know it. And we will. Tasty! Mmm, an egg and a fire flower makes an explosive egg missile, you say? I wouldn't know anything about that. Hi there, Mario. Are you eating regularly? You know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so just consume all the waffles. The cookbook you gave me really comes in handy. I already knew a lot of recipes, but with this book, I can cook a whole new world of dishes. I want to tell you about the latest dish I've been cooking. It's unique and that you don't want to eat it. It takes a fire flower and an egg to fix it. When I first made it, it blew me away. Literally, I blew up. I have no fingers anymore, Mario. I'll never be able to cook again. I'm in so much pain, Mario. It might help you on your adventures. Please come visit and bring those ingredients. And Ralph. Hey, hey, big guy. How you doing? Ralph of the band shop here. Thanks a bunch of shopping at my place. You're a cool customer. To show my gratitude, I'll be waiting for you with my all my stock 0% off. Ain't that just the swellest of all dudes, I swear. Anyway, how's Luigi's diary doing? Ooh, pretty well, it seems. A shy guy appeared at my house the other day. I found him asleep in my bed, can you believe it? Wow, that's just rude. I ran after him, but he was way too fast for me. I heard that a lot of shy guys also appeared in Toad Town. Supposedly, they came from Shy Guy's toy box. Must be somewhere in town. A toy box. Wouldn't mind seeing that. Maybe they have a Nintendo 64 available in stores now! The whole Goomba family visited me today. They said that Goombario is in the care of my brother. Then they gave me a souvenir. It was a Goom nut, a special treat from Goomba Village. It looks so yummy I ate it without telling my brother. My FP increased by three. You think I'll notice? Probably not. I mean, what are the odds of me noticing something as minute and tiny as that? Damn, Luigi, is your FP up by three? Looks good, dude. Mario loves his brother. And let's mosey. All right, then. So what did I decide I was going to do? It was going to be something. Oh, right. Letters. Right, 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 right. I got Merlin. Merlin. I got letters for Merlin. Let's freaking go. I've got a letter for ye. Anyway, you are Merlin, correct? Name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Here you are, good sir. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Hmm, who's it from? Hmm. Oh, my granddaughter, Merle. She recently entered the family business. Huh, is that so? Let's see, interesting. She opened up her business at Dry Dry Outpost deep in the desert. It's located somewhere quiet off the main drag. She seems to be keeping busy. That's good to hear. Thanks so much for ringing this letter. I'll give you this. Yay! Ain't that just about the best news you ever done did here in your whole ding-dang life? I certainly think so. Let's friggin' go. I got another letter to deliver and I gotta do it now. Gotta do it all ASAP. I like all sap. I like let's friggin' go. Let's friggin' go. All I know is it's by the train station. Ah, so you try to tell me that there is another star thingy ma do somewhere around these here parts, eh? Very well. I will butt slam until the cows come home. Until you have no choice but to give me what I require. Where are you at? Where are you keeping the star piece? I demand it. I need it in my life. Give me them grumble cakes. Give me the cakes, what's be grumbling? Hey, thank you. And I think that puts me at like, what, 24? Roughly, thereabouts? 24! I just need one more. Anyway, hey there. You know what? 
There are whirlwinds in the desert. They swallow you up, then they spit you out somewhere else. I know, because I heard it's true. I see. Yeah, whirlwinds always happen in the same places, too. My friend says that's where you end up depends on where you meet up with the whirlwind. Nature's just a mystery, huh? I'd avoid them. Who'd climb into a whirlwind on purpose? Probably some big dumb nerd, I would imagine. Anyway, you're by the train station. A lot of people claim the hidden treasure is spread all over dry, dry desert. If you get to know the area pretty well, it might not be a bad idea to check around a bit and try to find some. As for me, I'm too scared of getting lost out in that heat. I just stick to the path and go right to Dry Dry Outpost. Alright, well, then what about you, Bluey Jones? Are you the man of the hour? I mean, guy who likes trains? Yeah, we talked. Alright, new. No. Uh, did I make some sort of serious error? A letter by Dainty near Toad. Oh, Dainty! Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Ah, little oinks are so cute. Um, interesting. Isn't, aren't you dainty all the way up here? Is that a thing? Now I've decided to become a ship captain. Because trains have to stay on the tracks, you know. You can go anywhere on the sea. Ahoy, full steam ahead. Who the hell is dainty? You said by the station? Did I not talk to everybody at the station? That doesn't make any damn sense. Yeah, by the Toad Town Station. Was it the other kid, and because I didn't initiate the conversation with him specifically, it didn't count? Is that a thing? Are you dainty? No, you're not dainty. All right, then, then you must be dainty. You know, yeah, okay, but that's cool. No, oh, you are you're dainty, correct? Damn, that is such a technicality. The next pair carry, I deliver letters, so here you go. Oh, boy. Mail. Another letter duly delivered to postman's job is never done. Thanks, mister! Wow, I mean wow. It's an invitation to the haunted mansion. I didn't think it would really come. It's starting to sound like Homestar Runner. All the kids in Toad Town have been talking about this invitation, wondering if it was for real. But now that it's come, I guess I have to go. Minty, are you brave enough to go with me? Uh, you know, I'm kind of busy and, uh, oh yeah, I just had the greatest idea. Let's ask that Yoshi kid from Yoshi Village to come. You just got a letter from that kid last week, didn't you? You know, that letter you got from the island? The thing? The thing you think you're gonna go do? Yeah, you remember. I think you do. Yeah. Let's send a letter back to him and tell him about the scary adventure we're gonna have. Hey, Mr. Postman! Take this letter to the Red Yoshi Kid in Yoshi Village. Alright, well, I don't know how to get the no ding dang goddamn Yoshi Village up in this place, so I guess I ain't doing that today. Dang. Alright, then fine. Let's go check in on that godforsaken Koopa Coot. Ain't nobody, nobody ever want to deal with that Koopa Coot. That guy sucks. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And you gotta be what you gotta be. And sometimes, mon me, it just is what it be. Sorry about that. Pay it no mind. Also, why is everything hawking exploding over here? They're arguing in the house. I'm not going in there. Oh man, ain't that just a mood and a half. Alright, so you guys gonna stop doing that? Bombad, 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 it's all he ever says. It's so annoying. Oh, Bobby! Shut up! She probably dumped you because you never stopped talking! No, you shut up! My love for Bombette is deep like the Southern Sea! Not like that lousy, shallow Northern Sea! And don't even get me started on the Western one! Even being dumped constantly won't discourage me! ba bomb Being bom- Okay, I feel like being dumped, cons like, multiple times doesn't mean what it- you think it means. I, I think she never liked you in the first place, you weirdo. All right, hang on. That's the same conversation as before. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Bombette, I really hate to bring you into this situation, but, uh... Did you hear this guy, Bombette? He never, ever stops talking about you, but a bomb. Oh, Bombette! Shut up, please, right now! Think about something else for two seconds, will ya? You're really starting to get on my nerves. I bet I'm putting my whole heart into my next explosion. Watch that see my true love. Bomb, 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 bomb! Nope, they're just gonna keep on going. Bombette, you poor soul. When this adventure is over, I would recommend moving literally anywhere else. That said, we haven't had you hang out with us for a little while, so let's have you hang out. Yeah. Oh, what luck. A new favor. Oh, you're not so bad. I don't ask for favors, but... I must tell you, there's quite a racket coming over next door. It's far too loud. Say, you and Cooper are friends, no? Well, it's his house, and he should keep his guests from raising a ruckus. I can't sleep with all the noise. Okay, go as soon as you can. I'm at the end of my rope. Tell them when they quiet down. I have your word. Uh, okay, sure. Um, could you stop that? 
Oh, Bobette, shut up, shut up, shut up. The neighbors are starting to complain about your noise. Good, your belly aching, of which you do not biologically even possess. Oh, Bobette, please don't say that, please. Don't you care how I feel? Oh, shut up enough already. Stop rooting over her. I'm really going to have to have like a, like a, a, a trick wool up in here? A bad. Okay, shut up, the neighbors are starting to complain about your noise and all that business. You be quiet now. It's no use yelling my name. I'm off an adventure doing very important things while you stand around to be the complete and total abject loser that you've always been ever since I ever met you. So shut the hell up and get a job already. I have enough to think about without your puppy love. And besides, you're not my type. You're like blue. Who would do that? I told you that before. So calm down before you blow a fuse, which you literally can't do because you don't even have one. Oh, don't. Oh, you made her angry. And I feel bad for you, but man, you talk too much. Homeboy, you never shut up. You need to play it cool or you'll she'll never like you at all. I'm sure she'll come around one of these days if you can just... No, I really super won't. I'm so sorry, Bumpet. <laughs> I am so sorry. That is terrible advice. That, 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 that friend of his is bad news, man. I bet he's enabling the whole situation. Gallivanting groove, guys! You're the man, Mario! Amazing, stunning, finally some piece of quiet. Those punks make a fuss? I can finally go back to Sweet Dreamland. <laughs> oh, there's a guy named Kirby there. Bombat, you kind of look like him. Great guy. You're a stand-up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors. So here's a special gift. Yo, that's what we needed in our lives. Oh, how very kind of you. I guess the original is so bad after all. Anyway, I don't usually ask for favors, but... A long time ago, I used to be like you, and... Whoa, he's talking a lot. And finally... Hey, are you listening to me? No, I definitely wasn't. Well, the upshot is I don't really need any help, except, you know... All those boos living in Boo Mansion? Well, one of them has an old photo of mine, so, well, I'd like you to ask if they'd give it back. And if you don't mind, could you hurry up about it? You promise you'll go? Why on earth would a bunch of ghosts have your photograph? I actually don't understand what the purpose of doing that would even be. Hopefully the boos in question perhaps have an answer. Let's go find out. After doing really sweet flips and stuff. Really friggin' sweet flips and stuff. That's right. All right, do I need to heal at all? No, I certainly do not. All right, then. Works for me. All right. Uh, oh, more things. I want that. Where are you at? Where are you at? Don't you be hiding the goodies from me, Mr. Man. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? I guess we'll never know. All right, well, are you the guy with the one? Lady Po is the very definition of grace, beauty, and dignity. No other boo could fill her shoes because she doesn't have shoes because she has no feet. As master of the mansion, if she wore shoes, that is just, you know, whatever. When I even hold the lady, my heart goes pit-a-pat, which I do not have because I am a ghost. Eh, what can I boo for you? An errand for Koopa Koot, huh? Well, too bad for you. Koopa Koot's been known to use people, you know. Yeah, trust me, I'm painfully aware. His motto is, if it moves, use it until it drops. He got in a couple of fights over his personality way back when. After one really bad one, he started traveling a lot. This is a photo of us from when we passed through these parts. Take this and say hello to Koopa Koot for me. Huh, oh, alright then. Is this a picture of a young Koopa Koot? Who wants this? Why was he still all squinty? Does he just have bad eyesight? Is that a thing? Has that been a factor this whole ding-dang time and I didn't even ding-dang know? I suppose that's within the realms of feasibility. Huh. Darn strange, that, let me tell ya. Let me tell ya. Anyway. Just get ourselves all, wait, hey, right, 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 I almost straight up left entirely. That wouldn't have solved any of my problems. Well, except for all the problems I guess it would have solved. Anyway. Here you go, here's your old photo, I guess. Great, clumping clubbers. I'm in awe of you, Mario. Oh, the days of my youth. Just look at me there, so young and vibrant. I was quite the there was this utterly gorgeous, lovely, the passion. Apparently he had a tortured love affair with a boo. We shall not judge them. As fast as I, and I never looked back. Anyway, enough of that. Take this as a token of my thanks. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, coin. Nice. Yeah, all right, what else do you want from me? Well, then, yeah, I don't usually ask for favors, but uh, I really haven't had a taste in meal in a Goomba's age. Miss Tasty's coup pasta would really hit the spot right now. Could you head to Toad Town and have her whip up a batch? Did you hear my belly grumble? I'm ravenous. Oh, uh, coup pasta, huh? All right, well, if I had to make something vaguely resembling a guess, it probably involves a Koopa leaf and, you know, dry pasta. So I can probably do that. 
Hey oh, way oh, way oh, thank you. Go ahead and grab myself one of them. All right, not bad. All right then, well, it would kind of be a massive bummer if I had to give all of the coupons to him, so might as well double up on the items so I can actually enjoy the dang stuff too. That sounds like a pretty solid idea to me. All right then, to the desert to buy ourselves some pasta. Could you imagine having to travel to the damn desert every time you wanted to make yourself some spaghetti? That's an unfortunate existence. Then again, I mean, if warp pipes were a thing, then I probably wouldn't be nearly as big of a deal. But still, but still. All right, then. now give me that spaghetti. Yeah, give me that pasta. What do you mean? Wait, I have too much crap in my pants. Ah, dang it. All right, then, fine. Uh, let's see. Welcome, traveler. Yeah, I'd like to check some stuff, please. Okay, so, uh, take the stone cap. And, uh, you can also take the super soda. Really don't feel like I'm gonna end up using this in any shape, way, form, and at any point in my life. There you go. All right, and soon these four items will become two, and that gives me, you know, two spots of things. Yeah, that should all work out just fine. I say, not actually knowing one way or the other. As if that were anything resembling surprising to anybody on the face of the earth, I assure you it's not. I assure you. Anyway, to the lady would be good at the cooking stuff. And unlike the one in thousand year door isn't a massive asshole. Woo! All right, I'm gonna need so much freaking coup pasta you don't even know. Anyway, here, have some pasta sticks and then have yourself some Koopa leaf. All right, now cook this noise. Cook it up something good, and hopefully it's good enough that I actually want to keep the item that I make by the end of this. We about to find out. Here you are. Recipe's not too bad. Kupasta! Special pasta made by Tracy. Ooh, 7 HP and 7 FP. Ah, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need myself some more Kupasta. Also, you redid the sprite for the Kupasta, but, again, not for any of the... That's weird. That's weird! I am only slightly judging you guy that did this. Mostly because, you know, it's still everything they have done up to this point is still massively impressive. And this game's got like 50,000 sprites. So, I mean, yeah, obviously it's going to be a massive pain in the ass and a huge undertaking. And I respect everything that you did. And I'm sure you'll get to all of them eventually. But today, at the same time, I'm allowed to be baffled by the choice and sequence of events. And ding, 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 way. I have the pasta. I got the pasta. I got the touch of pasta. All right, here you go. Ta-da! Plummet and Paragoomba, zero man of action, Mario. This looks simply delicious. I swear nobody should cook this dish besides Tasty. Tasty. I keep calling her Tasty because it's just the name I've always called her, man. It's habit. It's habitual. She's perfected the recipe. Here's a little token of my gratitude. Coin. Anything else? Nope. That's everything from the old man. Ah, uh, well, that's good news. Now, what the heck and heck do I does? I guess I could just mosey myself on over to the next chapter of the game. I suppose that is an option. But should I? I wonder. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Oh, well, nothing really immediately comes to mind, so, yeah, sure. Let's riggedy rock on there, Bombette. Hurr, yeehaw's ready for another adventure! Well, you don't get much of a choice in the matter. We're gonna go on one whether you want to or not. <laughs> that's that's basically how this sort of thing ends up going more often than not. Oh, so that's the way it's gonna be. Oh, you suddenly ding-dang reminded me, in fact, you did. I have more than enough star pieces for my... for the thing that I want. All right, then. Well, hold up. Hold up. Oh, there we go. I happen to be standing right on top of the dang thing. Hooked up. I say, hop top. I say, hop and or top. Thank you. Shush. Wouldn't think I was asking for a whole lot here, but apparently I was asking for the moon and back. My goodness. All right, then fight. Hold up. I can spin real, real good, real, real fast. Yeah, no, nobody, no way I gotta worry about nothing. We'll be right back on path to our epic adventure in due time. I just want the power badge. I want to be able to do more damage, which is is just a, all around a good idea in general. Granted, I'm no Paper Mario expert or nothing. I'm sure. I, I, if I had to guess, I think the actual like optimal way of getting through Paper Mario super duper easily 
is through peril strats, which is when Mario has only one HP left, his attack power boosts by, I think, about three. And then when you do that, you can just kind of... You can just use a bunch of, like, power bounces and stuff, and you just do damage after damage after damage, and just keep doing it over and over. So I, I think that might be the right... Well, not the right way, but one of the ways. I don't know if the ways I do things are actually the way that, you know, people who super-duper know the game would do things, but it's the way I want to play. The whole point is to have myself a grand old time, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, that being said, uh, he probably said it, but I wasn't paying attention, but I feel like it's safe to assume that that requires six points of bad stuff in order to use, and it do. All right, then, so do I want to get rid of one of my defense-based ones for a power-based one? That's a question and a half now, ain't it? There's also the fact that I should probably... Well, I don't need to at the start, but it's eventually, at some point... I mean, you heard about the Lava Piranha, man. I'm eventually going to need to use Ice Power. But I guess right at this exact moment, that's not necessary. As much as I like Peekaboo, it's stopping me from tattling. And I like to tattle, so we're going to do that. Ah, uh, let's see, though. What do I do? What do I do? Ah, uh, ba I guess we'll get rid of Damage Dodge, just so we can have Power Plus. And if at any point I need to swap those around for any such reason, then I totally have the ability to do so. Sounds like a solid enough plan for me. We'll find out real fast whether or not what I just did made any sense or was a good idea in any regard. But uh, either way, I'll be doing three points of damage per jump now. So that's gonna that's gonna tear through some stuff, I would imagine. Speaking though, as I did dispose of the peekaboo, let's get Goombario back out here so we can tattle on whatever enemies end up showing up next. If I recall everything correctly, which I may, I like to think that I will. Oh, that's not the right way. <laughs> I, I think I remember everything. Goes completely wrong direction to get to where I, we need to go, because of course I did. Anyway, we need to get to a dang island. So how do you get to a dang island? You gotta get on a dang boat. How do you get to a dang boat? You go to the dang port. That's basically the long and short of it. All right, now let's actually talk to some fellows here. Hello, this is the port. Welcome. Doesn't the sound of waves soothe your nerves? It actually is rather nice, I must say. This is Toad Town's port. It's home to the only restaurant in town, which is literally one of the only completely superfluous and useless buildings in the entire game. It is weird. I mean, not the entire game, but Toad Town, usually all the buildings have some sort of point. You can go, never go in that room and it never matters. I like to stand at the end of the pier and gaze at the sea. I'm very, you know, philosophical that way. He's a toad. I think he's a guide at the port. He goes like this, welcome. Pretty good, huh? Anyway, he knows this area very well. You can ask him all about it. But, or I could not do that. I think that looks like an island has been floating in the port for days. Just recently, it moved right next to the pier. Ugh, I wonder if one day soon it'll come ashore. M Mario, could you possibly go see if it's dangerous? You think something akin to an island has washed up over to the pier? Oh, hi, Colorado. Good to see you again. Also, oh yeah, well, how about that? Yeah, it does seem to be shimmer shaken. All right, well, that's definitely worth taking note of. In due time! Hello. An odd fellow's been hanging around the port lately. Only does a stare out at the horizon and mumble about treasures and the like. Look, he's here again today. Yeah, that definitely sounds like my dude. But don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll sort that out in due time. Hello, Mario. Do you happen to know the owner of the bad shop that recently opened, Ralph? I met that uh, Ralph in a different town a long, long time ago. Back then, he was selling rare foods, not badges. I recall that he had a beautiful wife at the time. They worked so hard together to build a business up from nothing in that town. His wife doesn't seem to be here in Toad Town, though. I wonder what happened. Wow. Okay. Didn't realize this game had sad backstory for the badge seller. Huh. Okay, then. Hey, you're fancy as all heck. What's up with that? Mm, hi. I'm... Chanterelle? I don't know. I'm known around here as the pop diva of Toad Town. Oh, I used to be able to sing any song perfectly. Each note a masterpiece. Those times are behind me now. Perhaps forever. The sight of Peach's castle flying high into the sky was such a shock I haven't been able to sing since. And now, now I'm a pop diva who cannot sing. Cruel irony, isn't it? I mean, I friggin' guess. She's a singer, the pop diva. She is so beautiful! That big earthquake scared her so badly that she forgot how to sing. It's such a pity. Her voice is truly amazing. 
Goombario, you were really just all in on the lady types, ain't you? I'm Simon. I'm Ryman. To folks who know it, I'm the master poet. Poor Pop Diva cannot sing, but my lyrics are just the thing. If my lyrics really rock, our Pop Diva will be cured of shock. I'm tragically stuck, though, because my last line's a no-show. Later, Plumbinator. Plumbinator's not a word, Goombario. I feel like he made that one up. He writes songs. They call him Master Poet. He's a pretty cool guy. He's in love with Pop Diva. He's really worried about her, and I know just how he feels. Mario, don't laugh. I will laugh at whatever I so choose, thank you very much. Welcome to Club 64, say hoo! What's up with no customers? Isn't that Shy Guy epidemic over with already? We need some good press, maybe some attraction to draw people to the area. I mean, times are hard. You know what I mean, dude. People need a reason to grin. He's a waiter at this restaurant, although he's not dressed as one. He said he's working here because he longs to be near Pop Diva. He's really working hard. I bet he's working hard to try to impress her. Yeah, maybe you want to get a job here too. Where it is, something strange is in the neighborhood. Unfortunately, I have absolutely no idea who to call about it. Uh, but there also there's something else floating at the port. Well, that's even more bad news. Now people just have another reason to stay away from here. What a fine how do you do. He runs this restaurant. He just opened it. He also plays a mean guitar. I'm sure he'll be popular here. I'd like to come here one day with my whole family. I don't like fish, though. Yeah, you've mentioned that before. What an oddly what an oddly consistent two things I've learned about Goombario in this Let's Play. Dude likes the ladies, and he does not like the fish. Like that fish down there, Goombario would not eat that fish. And look at that fish go. Where are you going, little fishy fish? Where are you going, little fishy fish? What's up, fish mail? You just gonna bounce off again? Yeah, I guess that's kind of what happens. Anyway, what happened to your worm, dude? Tis no use trying to fish with no caterpillar. Gar, what the fix I be in? Well, there's nothing for it but to find me different bait. Huh, I see. Apparently, the thing you were trying to use as bait decided it didn't want to be bait anymore. Who'd have thunk it? Anyway, do you have anything new to say about Colorado now that he's no longer in the desert? He's the archaeologist Colorado. He's famous as both a scholar and an explorer. Unfortunately, he's also renowned for his carelessness. Uh, wild about treasure. Nope, nothing new. All right. Hmm. Who am I, you say? Why, well, my dear chap, I'm none other than Colorado. Famed adventurer and archaeologist. I'm touring the world. I don't think I asked that, seeing as how we've met before and you've even sent me a postcard. And yo, Mario, yes? What are you doing here? We really hasn't been that long since we saw each other. Well, I, for one, am traveling bravely to Lava Lava Island in the Southern Sea to solve a diabolical mystery. It would seem that there are ancient treasures waiting in a volcanic cave. I'm in a bit of a fix, though. No way to get there, you see. Hmm. Think now, Colorado, how to cross the sea. You could always just do yourself a swimmy swam. That's always an option. And now I'm standing on some kind of weird blue island. All right, obviously, butt slam. Okay, I seem to have offended it. Ah, yeah, what are you doing? My best, generally. Can I help you, sir? He gods! Be it a whale! Oh, good heavens! I was wondering what this was. It seems to be a huge tuna. Ah! I'm not a tuna, I'm a whale! And I have problems! Feels like something's jumping around in my belly. Oh, help me. Mm, I say, old boy, this great big tuna seems to have a bit of a bellyache. Mario, what say you lend the fish a hand? Mm. I told you I'm not a tuna. I'm not even a fish. I'm a mammal! Honestly, yeah, he's more mammals than turtles, I think. Anyway, and I have a headache from your jumping around on me, too. Think you can check my belly. I'm begging you, please. Yeah, all right, just go inside the gaping maw of a whale. Because that's what I need in my life, to be more like Pinocchio. All right, then. You need Watt for this, because unsurprisingly, it's dark as hell inside this thing. Oh, hey, it's you. Wow, ah, who dat? What do you think you're doing with that light? I ain't approving of that noise. And well, what do you think you're doing? Just kind of bip bop boopin' a bop a bip bop boopin' around. All right, well, I guess I wait. Oh, hey, I actually got him. Oh, wait, no, I got the whale. Ah, that hurt. What are you doing? Ow, butts. All right, hang on. Hang on. We wait. We wait. Okay. Messed up the timing again. Ah! What? Okay, maybe... Maybe if I do it... Oh! I didn't actually have to get the first strike. Well, that's weird. Hey, fella! You want a piece of this? You got it! I'm ordinary as all get out! Prepare for some pain! Alright, that's definitely a thing. But what if I wanted Goombario to tattle up on this thing? But yeah, you also can't... S you can't... I can't... It's literally untattle-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-able-
Okay, well, wouldn't have honestly assumed that. What are you doing on the dang roof? All right, then fine. Then I guess we have no choice but to stick with Watt for now because we can't fight in the dark. Can't even tattle on the dang thing. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, get out the dang roof. Eh. All right, I mean, not as more powerful as I would have liked it to be, but it'll do. Right and whoa. All right, that's a different maneuver. He can do a flippity dippity and he can do a dippity doppity. All right, the quick hammer again. This time with more gusto. Up top, cho. There we go, knock you down. Really, that's the way we're gonna be doing things, huh? All right, then fine. Electro Dash Styles, let's go, hi -ya! All right, well, good news for me is I actually have the ability to fight this thing, at least. Huh? Ah, what the? Now I can't use any items? Well, that's just rude. Well, now I have to power bounce your big dumb face. Oh, wow. All right, so this is just kind of bad news for you, assuming I get even a decent amount of jumps. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that went... That went very, very poorly for that guy. Wow. Ah! Shucks! First I think I get away from that old fishing man, and then I get all swallowed up by some huge fish, and then this fellow with a mustache goes upside my head. I've just been falling out of frying pans and into fire since I was just a grub. Talk about a lousy lot in life. Mario, it's me! You know, the whale- Oh, the, the whale! I thought it was Colorado. The whale! Can you hear me? That stomach ache seems to have cleared right up. I feel fantastic! I don't ever know how to feel the way that I did, but except for the way that I feel right now! Whoa! Alright! Whoosh! So you could have done that at any time? Why did I have to go inside? Hey, it's you, boy! You're that dumb old fish that ate me all up and such! You plum idiot! You know, I thought I was a goner for sure! Well, I'm awfully sorry. I was just having a nap with my mouth open, as one does. Well, I suppose I could see my way to forgiving you this time. But you just watch it! Uh, I, I reckon I owe you some thanks, after all, Mr. Mustache. Uh, Y'all take care now, you hear? Goodbye, weird fuzzy thing, dude. Whew! I feel so much better now. They should call you Dr. Mario! Ha <laughs> ha! I see what they did there. There must be some way I can express my gratitude. I need you to act as a boat. I've got it! I, the tuna- <clears throat> I mean I, the whale, am quite good at swimming! To express my thanks, I'll take you anywhere you want to go! p p p p p to the eavesdropping? But did you say who are? Mario, you old tuna tamer, accompany me to the shores of Lava Lava Island! What a trip it'll be! The island will be wonderful! You must trust my instincts! Mario, um, I think the star kid said a star spirit was, um, caught on the big Lava Lava Island. We, um, we should go? Big Whale gives us a ride. Wee. Well, what? You do seem to be suitably adorable, so we shall accept this. Huh? Lava Lava Island? Well, yeah, of course I know where it is, but... There's a big volcano on the island, and it's on the verge of erupting. Very dangerous. You still want to go? Well, okay then. It's your call. Just let me know when you're ready to go. I'm always ready for some crazy style adventure times. Let me tell you. Anything else you want to say before we go? My old boy, you must remember to take me to Lava Lava Island with you. Yes, yes, I suppose so. Do you want to go to the Lava Lava Island? Yeah, I do. Maybe we can make a pit stop over to Gullah Gullah Island. Hey, my audience is too young to know what that was. Oh, sure this is safe then. Uh, make some room, him. Come tut. Okay, we're off to Lava Island. The sea's a calling. Well, I can't believe we're on a tuna, Mario. Do you ever think about how strange life can be? I do. So, do you just not listen when other people speak, Colorado, or you are, are you being directly malicious to this whale? Quite frankly, it's doing us a very big favor right now, so I'd like to assume you're not being an asshole for the sake of it. Chapter 5! Hot Hot Times on Lava Lava Island! You better believe the temperature! Be wiggity whack! Oh, Lord, this chapter. Okay, all right, all right. One step forward, one step forward. We got this. Everything's gonna be fine. If you want me to take it back to Toad Town, just ask. Mm, yes, well, finally made it, eh? So this is Lava Lava Island. Smashing! <laughs> also, this dude's got, like, a press pass or something. Gracious! I've become standard definition! Behold, Mario, there! Off in the distance! The top of Mount Lava Lava! Triumphant! We must hurry! Make haste! 
Now you go ahead and do that. I'm gonna take this the easy peasy styles way. Like, for example, I found a stopwatch. That's pretty dope. This is where the whale comes and goes. Riding the whale sure was fun. This is where all travelers first set foot on the beach of Lava Lava Island. Beautiful water, deep lush jungles, a huge volcano. I mean, there's something for everyone except, you know, I guess a pizzeria. But I guess there's nothing stopping them from putting one somewhere around here. I know I would certainly recommend it. Regardless, you want to maybe give me my health back? I mean, they gave me a lot of my health back. Whoa, it's a spinner's flower! Okay, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be... Oh, yeah, there we go. If you spin in the propeller flower, then you can get some hang time. There you go. That's how you do it. All right, then. Yar! Help, I say! Help! All right, I guess I'm helping. After I inspect whatever this is all about. Ooh, it's a jingling bell plant. That's fun. All right, then. Well, give me that letter first. Igor and Boo Shop. Neat. All right, then. Oh, well, you seem to be having a bit of a problem here. Now, you actually can just straight up ignore this, and he's able to get out of it on its own, but at the same time, you know. Colorado may be a massive weirdo, but he's still totally our friend, and I'm not going to just leave him in the lurch. Hup! Hubbity bop! That should definitely have been enough to take you down. <laughs> I would have hoped. All right, tattle time. This is a jungle fuzzy. It's like a normal fuzzy, you know, except it swings from vines and stuff. Jungle fuzzies are very similar to other fuzzies, but they live in the jungle, so that's their name. Yeah. Max HP seven, attack power two, and defense power, they are literally balls of hair. They cling to you, suck out your HP, and add it to their own. What a sleazy move. They won't stop clinging to you unless you tear them off with the Axe Command. They also occasionally divide, so let's beat them before they get the chance. Or let them do it so that we can have multiple more Star Point opportunities. Ow! Okay, well, that sucks. Ah, oh, alright, well. Match hard enough and you only gotta deal with that much. No big deal. Boom! Shaka laka boom! And that's how you do that! And Goombario with the finish! Whoop whoop! There you go. Jungle fuzzies ain't no thing. I ain't worried about any of that business. Alrighty then. Saved your life. Oh, you saved me. Many thanks, old chum. Well, enough of that. Let's pull ourselves together and press on. What say? You know, you always could stop running ahead of me. That's a viable stratagem to stop getting yourself into so much trouble. Just a, just an idea, a thought, a, a notion. You don't have to listen to me, but you know. These beaches seem to go on forever, don't they? You've never seen some of these flowers. They're sure pretty. I should look for some shells if we have time later. I'm gonna take flowers and shells back to Goombaria. She'll be happy, and she'll be jealous. So basically, you know, it's kind of the win biggest win-win ever for a brother. Make the, make the sibling jealous, and at the same time, be a good sibling at the same time. Yeah, it's just a win-win, really. Man, look at the size of this lad! Hi, hello, howdy. This is Yoshi's Village. Mount Lava Lava, you say? Well, the volcano is just to the east of our village, but there's no way to reach it. Besides, the village leader said it's best not to get too close because it looks like it might erupt any day. And then we'll all be cooking. And nobody needs that in their dang life. Yoshi seemed to love the beach. Just looking at those guys basking in the sun makes me feel very relaxed. I mean, they are dinosaurs. They could be cold-blooded. There's no real confirmation one way or the other on that one. And yet, even though I'd love to just sleep on the beach, I'm excited to move on. Nothing compares to adventure, that's for sure. Because Goombario has so much tattelog dialogue, he's the character in our team to get the most, I guess, personality, I suppose. Everyone else, if they're out at the right time, will occasionally get an extra line or two, but Goombario, he has something to say about just about dang near everything ever, which is pretty dang handy. The village leader is my friend. I mean, hello, how are you? Weird way to start the conversation. But anyway, ever since he was a child, the village leader has had a very strong sense of personal responsibility. When I heard he was going to be village leader, I wasn't surprised at all. He's a Yoshi who's an old friend of the village leader. They've known each other since they were kids. I hear they've pulled many a prank together. They must be really close pals if they've been friends for so long. One would imagine. Ah, all right then. Hello, hey, who chonkin' chonkin' boy. Ah, welcome to you, Mario. I'm the village leader of Yoshi Village. Ah, you come seeking help? You wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, do you? Hmm. The entrance to the volcano is in the jungle, but it's very difficult to get to it. The volcano has awakened as well, and I think it may be too dangerous for you to go there. And yet I shall do so regardless. He's the village leader. He's very dignified. Also, his BMI is just ever so slightly a little too far. Doesn't he look thoughtful and perceptive? 
Why, because he's got the half-lid styles going for him? I mean, I suppose so. Well, regardless. Well, well. Hello! If it isn't Mario, welcome to Lava Lava Island! This island's almost entirely covered by a thick jungle. Still, how could you beat living in this tropical climate? Mm, I mean, I quite frankly hate tropical climates. Sounds horrible. Hey there, Mario. Have you met the ravens yet? They live at the top of the biggest tree in the village. There are lots of them, but they never come down. They speak a different language from ours, too. Pretty mysterious, huh? Everyone says they're the disciples of the master of this island, Raphael the Raven. But do you really think so? I mean, stands to reason. Also interesting to bring up a Yoshi's Island boss as a character in this. I approve, but it is interesting all the same. All right, then how it be, small child? We're the Fearsome Five. When we arrive, it's live at five. We always stick together, even when we're being bad. Speaking of which, today's the day we put our secret plan in action. It's so cool. Only we five know the plan, and that's the way it has to be. Sorry, can't tell you. Oh man, I'm so excited. I hope I can find a lot of tasty fruit in the jungle. Yeah, I bet you probably can. Also a lot of man-eating beasts and or plants that want to murder you. So maybe don't do that. He's a yellow Yoshi kid. Ooh, he's cheery, huh? This kid is full of pep. That was the same back in the days when I was small. Goombario, you are a Goomba, and by that nature, you have never been large. What? I'm still small. Well, yeah, compared to you, I guess I'm still wet behind the ears. Whatever that's supposed to mean. That's oh, Mario. You want an adventure or something, right? Wow, cool. Who's that with you? Is that your partner? Man, I wish I could be. That'd be a dream come true. Me? With our Yoshi child? As a party member? Perish the thought. The grown-ups won't let us out of the village because they say it's too dangerous. That meddling old cheap cheap is always watching us, and she won't let us enter the jungle. <laughs> we'll see about that. Us guys, the fearsome five, we ain't afraid of nothing. He's a purple Yoshi kid. Not a care in the world. Very cute. Seems to like you, Mario. Yeah, well, Mario does have that kind of magnetism for him. We're the fearsome five of Yoshi Village. Yeah! We play hide and seek together. Because that's really all we got going on for us in this village. Like, seriously. We don't even have any chalk. Can't make any hopscotch boards. There's, like, nothing to do here. We're just so bored all the time. We can't leave the village, though, so it's sort of boring. I want to play somewhere bigger and more exciting. Where there's the very real possibility of dying horribly. And they want to see the jungle. It's dangerous, you know. But now, that, now that'd be exciting. Yeah, I bet it would. I bet it would. Oh, welcome! We don't get visitors to this island very often. You should know that the jungle beyond here is dangerous. Our kids are forbo forbidden or forboden, whatever works, get to go in. Oh, and by the way, I just saw a Koopa guy who calls himself an archaeologist running in the opposite direction. He was saying something about finding a way to the volcano. Now there's a guy who's heading for danger. All right, hang on, I never tattled on you. He's a green Yoshi kid. He's an excitable rascal, eh? Yoshi kids get pretty big. All he wants to do is explore beyond his village. I know how he feels. Yeah, well, the difference is he ac you actually get to. Hey, Yoshi! I've seen pictures and books of these guys. Yet for some reason, they don't really care much for residential areas. Almost always just in the tropical lands. Or wrestling arenas, for some reason. I want to ride on one's back! It's always been a childhood dream of mine. Well, one day, perhaps. We're the Fierce of Five of Yoshi's Village! We're all best friends, you know. We're together. <laughs> it's Jerry, Terry, Gary, Larry, and Barry. We're together when we play and we get in trouble. We're always together! Of course, now we won't be, and well, we're playing hide and seek, and I'm it. I hate being it. Yeah, yeah, I bet you would be, my dude. He's a blue Yoshi kid. He thinks he's different from other Yoshi kids. A cute little guy. I can see how he might get on your nerves, though. <laughs> anyway, also a red one. Oh, it's Mario. Hey, Mario. Are you looking for adventure? If you want, we'll go with you. You won't have to worry at all. The Fearsome Five's got your back. Let's go to the jungle. We're not scared. We just can't have a go because the metal some old cheap cheap stops us. Yeah, well, maybe that meddlesome cheap cheap knows what's up. Yoshi kids are so cheerful. This red Yoshi kid, though, looks pretty mischievous. It looks like a little scamp. I bet he gets in all sorts of trouble and doesn't regret it a bit. What? That's like me? Mario, oh, come on. Take it back. I will do no such thing. Regardless, I got a dang letter for you, yo. Which I guess means that at one point or another, you've been to Toad Town. Not sure how that works. A red Yoshi kid. Ah, you must be the one. The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on just a moment. Here you go. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Thanks. I wonder what it is. Oh, my pal made up a new game. I gotta play this later. He also wants me to come over to his town and play with him sometime. But how can I get there? Oh, well. Maybe someday I'll be able to cross the sea and hang out. It's really funny because I was just writing him a letter about a game I made up. Mr. Paracare, will you help? Yeah, deliver my letter to the Toad Kid who asked you to send this one to me. Would you? Thanks. All right, I'll get right in on in on that. 
But first, how it be over there, Sushi? Oh, it's so rare to have visitors these days. I'd love to stop and chat, but I have my fins full. Now I'm watching these boys who are very, very naughty, so they don't do anything dangerous. I can't prove it yet, but I bet they're planning something. Could it be the fact that if you actually spoke to any of them for even half a second, they would talk about their secret plans to break out of the village? I mean, that's a bit of a, a red flag in my eyes. Well, if they think they can fool Sushi, they'd better think again. Why would anyone that is a fish be named Sushi? That does not sound right at all. How are you, Mario? Hey, have you talked with the Cheap Cheap over there yet? She's famous around here for being a great babysitter. Her name is Sushi. She watches over the kids. What would we do without her? Sometimes the kids complain about her, but kids are kids. By the way, an archaeologist named Colorado or something went into the jungle alone. He said he was making for Mount Lava Lava, but the path ends halfway there. Wonder how far he got. Oh, we about find out. This Yoshi loves food like nobody's business. I'm pretty sure that's kind of all Yoshis. I wonder what he'd do if we gave him some food made by Tasty. He'd freak out. Oh, well, he didn't ask for any, so we ain't getting any. Ain't that just about a thing. Also, check out this wicked awesome toad house. Yeah. Pretty much the lap of luxury this place is, isn't it? All right, then. Well, yep, I guess we're going to be taking ourselves a leaf nap. This isn't even a mattress. It's just a slab of wood. I mean, I guess sleep is sleep, but still. I feel like I'd rather sleep on grass than, you know, on, you know, a large branch. Or just a slab of wood. I don't know. Point is, just doesn't seem very comfortable. Anyway, lightning that strikes all enemies. Wow, for 15 coins, in fact. That's a pretty sweet deal, not gonna lie. And can I buy that too? I tote scan, and I did. Nice. All right, then. That's pr looking pretty good. We're doing all right. Let's friggin' go. Yeah! Yeah! Help, help me! Yeah, I'll get right on that, my dude. I just need to... Up wow, you're just getting absolutely kabonkified by the local natives, eh? All right, then. Well, I'm gonna have to ask this guy to knock that noise off. Quite rude, I must say. I must say. All right. Ah, these are the... Yeah, there we go. If I try to use hammer on that front guy, he ain't gonna be having any of it. So I shall instead uh, jump upon their face. That was the choice they made, so they're just going to have to deal with it. This is a spear guy. Spear guys are relatives of shy guys, as you might be able to guess. Anyway, they live in the jungle. Max HP 7, attack power 3, defense power, they got none. You'll get hurt if you attack with the hammer while they're pointing the spear at you. You'll also get hurt if you try to jump on them when the spear's pointing upward. Pay attention to the position of their spears when they attack. Oh yeah, they also sometimes call in reinforcements, which is just kind of a major pain in the ass. After they throw their spears, they become ordinary shy guys. In grass skirts. Don't try to act like that's not a factor. Anyway, oh, you have decided a path that leads you towards death. Ain't that unfortunate for you. <laughs> I don't know why you thought that that was the call to make. You absolute buffoon. All right, now get out of here, you. All right. Victory for us! Whew! You saved me once more! You're top notch, Mario! Now, I feel that our destination of the volcano is quite near. Let's press on while our spirits are high, eh? If in we absolutely must. The entrance to the volcano is very near here. A green jungle, a massive volcano, and red hot flowing lava! What a view! It probably wouldn't look so good if the lava were coming towards us. Yeah, that'd be a sign of us probably dying. Less than advisable, as you might imagine. Also, don't think I didn't see that. It's a jam and jelly! Oh, damn, we gotta dip that. That gives 50 FP. That's an absurd amount. All right, get out of here, Dizzy Dial. I ain't got no time for spirals. Ah, Mario. Have a look at this. Dang, that do be a volcano, though. Looks like the entrance to the volcano, eh, old boy? Somewhere in that volcano are the treasures I'm looking for. I know it. The secrets of an ancient civilization. And yet, oh, I can't find a way in. Bit of a sticky wicket, eh? I mean, I'd need some kind of strange rope-like construct if I wanted to get over there. No, oh, well, suppose it's nothing for it. Let's go home. But I shall not give up. A good explorer never stops gathering information. Let's go back to the village to look for clues. There must be a way in there. There simply must. Come now. Now, oh, I think I can make that jump. <laughs> I'm not gonna try, but assure, I assure you, I definitely could. I ain't about. Oh! Ah! Yeah! Stop! Stop it! Come on now, why you gotta be all like that? You've bamboozled me! <laughs> Did you think I was best set by enemies again, old boy? Just a bit of a joke. 
Explorers must know of a sense of humor, don't you know? At any rate, let's move on in. He bamboozled us. That was a right proper bamboozlement. You hate to see it, you really do. Uh oh. That's interesting. The music seems to have gone a bit dire. Uh oh. Well, this is a problem and a half now, isn't it? Colorado, you've been here for 15 seconds longer than me. What's up? I swear, all these natives are so panicky that we can't get any information. I guess someone had better solve their problem so we can quiz them. Hey, old boy. What seems to be the happen? The haps, Mr. Fatty Lumpkins. No such ill fortune. The children are missing. They seem to have secretly slipped off into the jungle. They don't know its dangers. We must get them back here. Safety. Safely. Whatever. Mario, can I ask you to look for these lost children? As you can see, the Yoshis of my village are panicking. They aren't thinking straight. I'll try to calm them down. You just find those kids. I'll define panic. The kids are gone! The only place they could have gone is <gasps> the jungle! I had a feeling they were up to something lately, but I thought it was just mischief. I didn't think they'd go into such a dangerous area. Now their limbs are gonna be removed. Like, just straight up ripped off by carnivorous plants. Ah, what do we do? How will we find them? I mean, you can always look in the jungle. It's terrible, just terrible. The kids are all gone. They're dead, probably. I'm not gonna look. We told them a thousand times never to go into the jungle. Uh, but, they, but they just needed their fun and games. Sushi went after them. She's a cheap cheap who always takes care of the kids. How could this have happened? There must be a reason. Mario, please, please help. Look for the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm sure I've got it figured out somehow. Anyway, this is a symbol plant. If you stand in it, it symbols you and you get hurt. So I'm not going to. I just... Whoa! All right, that's a carnivorous plant that wants me to be a big dead. How about... You stop with all of that everything you've got going on here. Are you are still alive, which is right out the gate kind of a bit of a problem for me on a personal level. I do not much appreciate all of the nasty spittle that you got going here. Also, okay, just gonna cover me in a toxic funk, are ya? All right, I see how it is. I am not a fan of any of that business. All right, tattle on that nerd. This is a heart plant. Heart plants pretend to be heart plants, which give you a heart when you touch them. Well, I mean, to be fair, evolutionarily, that is the type of thing that would end up being created. Anyway, defense power, it's got none. It's a plant. If a hurt plant bites you, you'll be poisoned. Then your HP will slowly fall with each turn. You better beat him as quickly as possible. Unless you can frequently restore your HP, you'll find yourself in trouble pretty fast. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty decent idea. All right, well, now I don't even have to bother with an action command. So that's nice, at least. There you go. Ow! All right, well, that hurt like all hell. Now you are gonna get Kostopa Pond. Later, nerd! All right, hurt plants. Kind of massive jerks. That's, uh, that's definitely good to know for the future. Thank you for that. Also, free money. All right, then. Out of the way, various bushes. Oh, well, that looks mildly suspicious. Ah, oh, dear lord, the bushes are alive now, too! Dang, those Yoshis were not joking in any shape, way, or form. The jungle is freaking dangerous. There are so many things here that just want to eat your face and kill you. Like, damn, man. Anyway, that should be enough. Get out of here, weird sentient bush monster. Oh, ow. wow, literally everything in this place just wants me to be poisoned, apparently. That's all kinds of unfortunate. All right, then, well, you got six HP? No, you got more than that. And right, then we'll worry about to find out. This is an ambush. Ambush, ambush, I get it. Ha 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 ha! Ambushes pretend to be bushes and wait for un wary, unwary prey. Anyway, HP 8, attack power 3, defense power, it's a literal bush. Their bites are sometimes poisonous, so be careful. Yes, yeah, sometimes you say. If you get poisoned, your HP will gradually fall. Your situation could become critical unless you restore your HP as soon as possible. Let's clear them out quickly, okay? Use your most powerful attacks, why don't you? Because I might need them for later! Anyway, ow! God, late! All right, so I'm in a bit of an issue, but that's okay, that's okay. We'll find a way to survive, ole ole. All right, that's just taking care of all that. And I'm really close to leveling up, so I'm not too terribly worried. Get back here this instant, you little ingrates. Okay, well that can't be a good sign. Hey, you, down there. Look up here if you hear me. Because it's some kind of sushi. This is so embarrassing. I'm stuck at this tree. Can you help me out somehow? Well, I can certainly make an attempt. Uh, uh, okay, well, that, that sort of helped, but not quite. Come on now, try harder. Huh. Huh. I say, huh. There you go. Uh, uh, I'm saved. I feel like one big ache. 
Thanks for getting me out of that tree. I think I'll be okay now. Oh, oh, those little... I was chasing those naughty little Yoshi boys and I fell into their trap. Don't they know how dangerous it is to go into the jungle? I have to find them before they get in too deep. As for you, you'd better get back to the village too. It's dangerous out here. Why on earth did you come into the jungle anyway? Did you think that'd be fun in games? Because I'm tired of telling people that there very seldom is. Now I'm here to save the kids. Well, so, you're looking for those little rascals as well, as well. Yeah, yeah. And I don't see why we don't just look for them together. I really don't understand the dangers of the jungle, so we have to find them soon. Sad fish. Oh my, how impolite. I haven't even asked your name. What is it, pray tell? I be Mario. Mario, huh? Hmm, well, I never heard of you before. You must be from far, far away or something. Enjoy a lovely lava island. And that's what I'd usually say to a visitor anyway. But first, could you help me find these boys? I certainly can. Yay, I'm friends with sushi. Press the down C thing on platforms at the water's edge to ride her across the water. If you press down C again, you're all riding her. She'll dive deep down for a short time. While in battle, she can jump, jump attack with belly flop or douse enemies with her squirt ability. Like a big, like, you know, it's like one of those water toys where if you squeeze them underwater, they'll suck up all the water and then you can shoot out the water. It's literally exactly like that. Anyway, let's go and get ourselves a, some stuff. There we go. All right, well, at least you... At least the, uh, the, uh, the swimming sushi sprite has been fully, uh, done up in the way that it needs to be. So that's good. All right, then, kind of strange that the swimming sprite has the white outlines, but none of the other ones do. Ah, well, it'd be what it'd be. Also, when I move the thing up and down, the water textures change. That's interesting. Fascinating stuff. Anyway, hello there, good sir. Oh, yo, what's up? Thanks for waking me up. This island's so nice, isn't it? It's the perfect place for napping, perfect temperature, and I am a plant, so you know, photosynthesis and all that. I'm a bulb bulb. My job is to fill the world with flowers. Nice, huh? I want you to take this seed. Or rather, that's what I want to say to you. Unfortunately, the seed isn't quite ready yet. Don't worry, though. It'll be ready any time now. Waiting in such a warm, comfy place can't be all bad, right? Come grab the seed later. I'm pretty generous, so I'll be here giving stuff to people. All right, then, sure. Just got to remember to grab that before we end up leaving. Yep. And free star piece for me. Thank you kindly. All right, let's go. Let's friggin' go. And yep. Ah. All right, we're going to be doing ourselves a whole lot of that, let me tell you. Also, interesting. Um, Let's see. Is the way forward attached to any of this, or is this just a big wide open area of no real import whatsoever other than to find Sushi herself? I guess that appears to be the case. All right, I shimmy shift that bush and nothing came from it. I hate when bushes betray me. And so far, literally all of them have. Nature is the worst, man. All right, then fine. I guess we'll swim somewhere else. 